Unlike most organisms that use DNA, is its genetic material. Influenza is an RNA-based virus. And here in the Turner Lab, uh, we've sort of been focused on RNA structure and the, and the sort of forces that govern how RNA folds. For a long time, our lab has been developing methods for predicting RNA structure from sequence. And now there is a huge amount of genome information of sequence. And so we're trying to see, can we pick out interesting regions of an RNA and then predict the structure of that RNA. So we thought influenza would be a very nice sort of target for going after a virus because it has this sort of RNA genome. And very little was known about uh, the roles of RNA structure in influenza. The RNA has uh, two roles really in influenza RNA. Uh, one is it carries the genetic information. So it's uh, influenza's equivalent of DNA in humans in that sense. And also uh, it codes for uh, proteins. So it tells what uh, sequence protein to make. And what we saw, there was an interesting RNA structure at one of the sites, and this forms what's called a pseudonym, where basically the RNA folds into a complicated structure. And now this pseudonym can actually be in sort of a transition between another structure called a hairpin. So you have a highly folded pseudonym and a more accessible hairpin structure. And essentially the transition between this uh, hides or reveals uh, different parts of what we call splicing factors. So on the left-hand side, we're, sh we're seeing the results for the hairpin conformation. So we think we have a switch. Basically, you could turn the splicing off by having a pseudonym, or you could turn the splicing on by having the hairpin. The switch that we discovered in influenza is part of a uh, splice site. And the idea of a splicing is that you get one part of the RNA to throw away another piece of the RNA and combine to a third piece of the RNA. It's important to stop the splicing from taking place because one of these proteins, which requires splicing, is an essential protein. If the virus does not have that protein, it cannot propagate. Another aspect that's very interesting is can we affect this equilibrium? This is relevant for medicine. So the idea is if this is truly an off switch and this is truly an on switch, uh, can you freeze the off switch or can you freeze the on switch? Uh, by adding in, let's say, uh, a small molecule. The research is important because there are implications for uh, designing therapeutics to target influenza. Most of us don't get it because we get uh, vaccines, but there are still a lot of people who die every year from influenza infections. The hope is that uh, we can design small molecules that you could take as a pill and that would uh, interfere with the reproduction of the influenza a virus and therefore a cure it. A production of the University of Rochester. Please visit us online and subscribe to our channel for more videos.